What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Jared 2 Productions. My name is Jose and thank you guys for joining me here today. So as you guys can see in the title down below, today we're going to be talking about Twitter Spaces and Clubhouse. So we're going to start off with Clubhouse since Clubhouse was one of the first ones that started in this new audio space. So of course, let's start off with that. Clubhouse is only designed and made specifically for iPhone only. Uh, so that basically means the iOS App Store. Unfortunately, as of now, it is not available on uh, Google Play or any Android services. That is coming later this year. They had recently posted an article saying that they are working on it and will hopefully have it before the end of the year. So Clubhouse is this new app that's basically like taking Zooms and a TED Talk and combining it into one. Except you don't have video conference, you just have voice conferences or voice chats. So Clubhouse is a very different and unique app that's recently started to come up. So like most apps, usually like, comment, and sometimes share that post. Well, with Clubhouse and Twitter Spaces, all you do is listen and sometimes even speak. So in both of those apps, you have a set of speakers and then you have the audience. Most of the time, you can sometimes hop in into the speaker side, but you either have to get invited or raise your hand. It's kind of like a TED Talk, but for iPhone with no video. What's weird about especially Clubhouse compared to your typical social media apps is that you can't just get in right away. You actually have to be invited by people that are already on the Clubhouse app. So I remember when I first downloaded the app, I go to create my account like you usually would, and you actually get to reserve your username. But after that, you have to wait for somebody to invite you already inside the app. There's two ways of inviting someone in once you're already a member of Clubhouse. To let someone in, you can either go into your activity and you can see some of your friends. If your account is connected to your contacts, you can see which of your friends are trying to get in. You simply just let them in that way. But the other way to do it is if they're not on your contact list and there's someone that just really wants to get in, you can send them personal invites. Now, Clubhouse limits you to two invites to begin with, but you can earn more over time. I currently have five invites. Um, so if there's somebody that trying to, if there is somebody trying to get in, I can definitely let you in. So obviously when you first get into the app, the first thing you do see is the start a room button. And that's where you can create your own rooms over your own certain topics and listeners will eventually join in. Or if you have a certain amount of followers, they will also join in and get notified as soon as you start a room. And then on top where it says the future work, free coaching sessions, those are upcoming sessions that either you have people that you follow um that are going to start a room or they're just random ones that uh, clubhouse recommends same with the other ones as you scroll down now you do have a calendar section as well uh where there are events upcoming for you those are sometimes again people that you follow that are having events coming up or random ones that clubhouse kind of recommends to you and of course your own profile which there isn't too much on there um you can customize it but sometimes you don't want to over customize it because if you do if you are speaking one of the groups, somebody pulls up your profile, it's better just to have something quick and short than a whole long essay where people just are reading and get bored and just don't even look at everything that's on there. And for example, in this current room that I'm in, as you can see, there are four speakers on top and then there's a few other speakers and then there's everybody else that's in the room. Now, usually when you see those little uh, celebration icons, those are just people that are recently joined. Um, and then on top, if we go back to the speakers, you can see those little green buttons and those are the moderators. Those are the people who currently run the group. Um, they have the option to bring people up as speakers. They have, pe they have the option to take people away from the room, uh, so forth, so forth. You can also, with the little plus button, add people, mostly your friends that are uh, following you currently on your account. You can add them to join that one group. Uh, you can raise your hand if you do want to speak. So there's always an option uh, of moving up to speaker if you really want to pitch in. Now, whether they accept you, that's a whole different story. That's all on the moderator. And another cool feature is that as soon um, as you're in a room and you want to turn your phone off, just make it go to sleep, um, the audio will still keep playing. So it's not like it's just gonna stop as soon as you leave that app, which is really nice so it doesn't completely drain your battery and you just have to stare at uh, the little speaking icons. So as this new form of social media continues to grow, Twitter is currently working on Twitter Spaces and Facebook is currently working on its own version as well. So I've been using Twitter Spaces for a little bit. Um, I am not a beta hoster. I just join in on people's spaces or groups and it's very similar to Clubhouse, but I do love that it's all just on one app and basically it has the same features as Clubhouse for right now. 
But of course, with Twitter having more employees, um, they can definitely do a lot more than what Clubhouse currently has. Uh, Twitter Spaces, again, is only for iOS as well. So if you're on Android, uh, probably expect it mid-March to late March is what one of the Twitter Space employees says um, or said. So if you are on Android, you just have to wait a little bit longer. But if you are on iPhone, you can hop into other spaces without you being an actual beta tester. So that's a little bit about Twitter Spaces and Clubhouse. And um, I'll be doing a follow up video as more updates come to this app. But that's just a little bit about the basics, how to get on, how to use it and the comparison between Clubhouse and Twitter Spaces. So thank you guys for joining me here today. Um, again, I'll keep you guys updated on both of these apps and you guys have a safe day and have an amazing day. See ya.